Okay, so is it rolling? We're here at Chris Michelson's studio. I'm about to do an interview with him. He's a mass crusade evangelist. We see all kinds of miracles and people coming to Jesus. We're gonna go in there now and knock out this interview. How are you, man? Good, man. How good. are you? Yeah, good. Good. Oh, man. good. So good. Come on in. Hey, how you doing? Okay, we're about to go in and do this interview with Chris Michelson. Here he is in Southeast Asia. Thousands of people. The miracles that happen here are ridiculous. Preach the gospel. Signs and wonders will follow. All right, look at some of these books that he's got in here. Obviously, Daniel Kalinda, Live Before You Die. Live Before You Die, Daniel Kalinda. It's a good one. I was looking through the books that he has here, and the one that probably changed my life the most out of everything I can see here is this one. It's called Experiencing the Depths of Jesus Christ by Madame Guyon. This is super rich. One of my favorite quotes of all time comes from this book, and I practice this or use this quote all the time. Whenever the passions of the soul become turbulent, a gentle retreat inwards to the presence of God easily deadens and pacifies them. <laughs> That's a good one. What else we got here? Andrew Murray on prayer. If you haven't read Andrew Murray's stuff on prayer, it's very important. We good? We ready? No, you don't know where. Where yeah, is it? <laughs> How did it go? Oh, uh, good, bro. Yeah, yeah. we're good. But I want to encourage you from Colossians chapter 3. The scripture says, Obey your master in all things, not with eye service, as men pleasers but in singleness of heart, fearing the Lord. It hit me that this is where the fear of the Lord is seen in our lives, when our hearts are single towards Him. When our eyes only look to Him, that's the fear of the Lord in our lives. So as you are at your job, you're at your workplace, day in and day out, if you keep your heart set on serving Him, that's walking in the fear of the Lord. But when your eyes are no longer on the Lord Himself, what happens is the fear of the Lord begins to wane in your life, and you begin to look more at your own reputation instead of looking directly at God. He even goes on to say, whatever you do, work from the soul as to the Lord and not to men. This is what the fear of the Lord looks like. A singleness of attention to God, all your service, no matter how insignificant it seems, going directly unto Him. Then it says, knowing that from the Lord you will receive the inheritance as recompense. Recompense is exact payment for services rendered. So this is what it looks like. Day to day, you go to work at things that don't seem significant, but if you keep your eyes fixed upon the presence of the Lord and let everything go up unto Him, serving Him and not those that can see you, then you will receive a reward from heaven. God will look at your life at the end and see that you valued Him above men and above yourself. I encourage you that this is a key to walking in the presence of God in everyday life, seeing even the most mundane thing as unto Him. Lord, I thank you that you have given us the Holy Ghost. And I pray for every person that's going to work today, from 9 to 5, Lord, that you would fill them with grace to be able to worship you and look at you and let everything go up from their hearts unto you so that they will receive not only a reward in the coming day, but also enjoy you throughout the day. In your precious name, Lord, give us grace to fear you with singleness of heart and to enjoy you in the midst of everyday life. Man, be encouraged, guys. I know many of you are working, and you have a lot on your plate today. Keep your heart set on Him. God bless you. have only known religion and it has produced boredom it has produced bondage but to know the wine of the spirit 
and to enter into a real intimate place with Jesus will set us free to live a real holy life that is not merely external, but is because of an internal receiving of the person and presence of Jesus. We value his person by prioritizing his presence. This is what we're going to talk about. Your family, your workplace, your relationships, your entire life will be changed by the perceiving of his person.